Are you thinking twice about hiring a virtual assistant because they have other clients? Or maybe you're worried you'll just be another by the way client on their priority list. Now, before you mentally picture your virtual assistant saying, you're, you're just, just an option to me. Take a deep breath. Let's not go there. I don't want you to get discouraged about task delegation or outsourcing your business tasks because I too was in the same place where you are now. I second guessed my every move. I had trust issues with the new virtual assistants I hired. Over time, I learned that it's super important to choose the people that you invite to your team for the long term. Damn right. You kind of feel it in your gut the first time you have a Zoom call interview with a potential VA. So trust your instincts, but don't let the fear of being a second priority client stop you from building your team. Watch this video to help you decide because it might just change your perspective. So you're considering hiring a virtual assistant or VA, but you've found out that they also work with other clients. You might be wondering if this is a good idea or if it's going to be a hassle. Well, I hope the insights that I share with you in this video will help you figure out if hiring a VA with multiple clients is the right move for you. Because for all you know, your business needs might benefit more if you hire a full-time VA. So let's unpack this issue in this video. Before I go on, you need to subscribe to this channel because, well, you haven't subscribed yet. Duh. Seriously, just subscribe because we'll love you so much if you do. All right, back to the script. First things first, let's talk about availability. When your VA has other clients, it means they might not be available full time just for you. But hey, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Think about it like this. If you're only needing help with tasks for a few hours a day or a couple of days a week, having a VA with other clients might not be a big deal. After all, if you hire a VA who has been in the industry long enough, they've learned juggling tasks and managing their time efficiently. Otherwise, they won't last in the career. To be a successful VA, you need to be able to handle several tasks simultaneously and smartly complete tasks on a priority scale. Simply put, having a part-time VA is like having a reliable friend who's always there when you need them, even if they're busy with other stuff sometimes. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Communication. You might be worried that having a VA with other clients means they won't be able to give you the attention you need. What if they ghost you? What if they don't reply to your emails in a timely manner? What if they don't think you're a high priority client and they just let your tasks gather in the corner? Hold on a second before you let these fears escalate further. Actually, you are right to have all these concerns, but don't paint all virtual assistants this way just because you've had a bad experience with a VA who ghosted you and didn't work on your tasks. Those freelancers that you worked with have bad behavior and commitment issues. For any VA to be hired and kept by any client long term, they have to be good communicators. They know how to keep the lines of communication open. They will let you know upfront about their availability and how they can accommodate your needs. Plus, with tools like email, Slack, or Zoom, staying in touch has never been easier. So if you've had a VA who didn't reply to you, that's not a communication problem. That's a commitment problem. But what about confidentiality? If your VA is working with other clients, does that mean your sensitive information could be at risk? Will they share my files with other clients? Well, it's a valid concern, but here's the thing. Professional VAs take client confidentiality very seriously. They understand the importance of keeping your business secrets safe. Just make sure to have a chat with your VA about your privacy concerns and set clear boundaries from the get-go. Also, do not ever hire a VA without a service agreement with them, and that service agreement should have a non-disclosure clause in it. I must emphasize how important this is. Make sure you have a signed service agreement with your VA, or any contractor for that matter. You need to ensure your business's integrity and the confidentiality of your information is preserved. That's right. Now let's talk about the benefits of hiring a VA with multiple clients. Ooh. One word experience. When your VA has a diverse range of clients, they bring a wealth of knowledge and skills to the table. They've seen it all and done it all, which means they can handle pretty much anything you throw their way. You need help with social media management, email marketing, or customer support? They've probably done it before. Need them to do exploratory work on a new app? They'll know it better than you do, and they can use the app on your behalf so your business runs smoother without you having to learn the app yourself. Experience is not something you can buy, and those VAs who have years of experience under their belts didn't buy it either. That's right. They earned that experience so that you, their client, can benefit from their experience and acquired expertise. That's what you are paying for when you hire a VA who has had other clients before and has other clients besides you. <laughs> now, one more thing. Hiring a VA with other clients can actually be cost-effective. Since they're splitting their time between multiple clients, you might be able to snag their services at a more affordable rate compared to hiring a full-time employee. 
Besides, when you hire a full-time employee, you have to buy them computer equipment. You have to pay for an office where they can report for work. You'll have to buy coffee and for the office tools and pay for electricity, internet, etc. So much overhead costs. You could have marked this as part of your revenue, but you're not because you're paying for all these expenses that come with hiring a full-timer. And let's be real. Who doesn't love saving a bit of cash while still getting a supportive team, right? But hey, let's not ignore the potential downsides. Having a VA with other clients means they might have competing priorities. There might be times when they're swamped with work from another client and can't give your tasks the attention they deserve. This can happen and you have to accept that because you did not hire this person full time, your tasks might take a backseat. So when you do assign tasks, communicate your deadlines and expectations clearly. You can even ask your VA to confirm first if they have availability for the task or project before you officially assign it to them. Overall, it's all about finding the right balance and setting realistic expectations from the get-go. So, should you hire a VA with other clients? It ultimately depends on your needs and preferences. If you're looking for flexibility, expertise, and cost effectiveness, then hiring a VA with multiple clients could be a smart move. Brilliant. Just make sure to communicate openly, set clear boundaries, and trust in your VA's ability to juggle it all. But if you want to have dedicated support from one VA, you have to consider hiring them full-time and ensuring that they are compensated enough by you that they won't ever feel the need to get hired by other clients just to pay their rent and bills. I'm sure you have other questions about task delegation and how to work better with your VA, so make sure to watch the next video and learn how to outsource your business tasks the easy and smart way. See you there.